the psalmist said o god you are my god i have seen you in your sanctuary and beheld your power and glory i will praise you as long as i live and in your name i will lift up my hands we will begin this morning's events with a song of exaltation giving all glory and honor to our lord by the girls of the ashat center
Selvaraj and Nagavalli awaited anxiously for the birth of their first child, as is the most accustomed sentiment among the Indian society. They were expecting a male child. But to their disappointment, it happened to be a girl child that was born to them, and what a very different girl child she was. She was unlike any child they had seen, totally still, lifeless, with facial deformity, weakness on her right side, with multiple disabilities. They just could not accept the fact that they were given such a child by God. Very embittered, disappointed and pained, they came to us. Shweta came to us when she was five. And today, she just danced before you as a slender young teen. She was able to master her head country. This is Shweta, about whom I just spoke. Vanakam, vanakam sole, vanakam sole. She has been able to overcome many of her disabilities, but she's unable to control her drooling, and the weakness on her right side has improved. She helps up her mother in all the household chores, and she's a beautiful student to her teacher, and she's a mother to the younger ones in Asha. She helps them with their feeding, looks after their toilet needs, helps in their grooming, and they all look up to Shweta Akka for help. We have 50 such children at Asha, and this is a celebration of God's grace. The grace God gave this congregation, the vision to open its doors to such children and to give hope and succor to many such children. We are 50 children, we are a registered, government, recognized school, and we have nine children in the Tirupalamanam Center undergoing therapy. We have vocational training for the older ones. You will see much of many of their products on display outside. It's not just a school, like Pastor always says, it's a family. And we support each other. The parents are very much involved. We counsel their parents in their difficulties, help with their siblings. It is one big happy family. And we thank God for that opportunity you gave us. We thank you for the love you invest in these children, your financial support that sees us through many of our needs. We take this opportunity to thank God for his grace and to thank each and every one of you. Now, there's a detailed report about all the activities of Asha at your pews. We hope you'll take them back home to have a better insight into Asha. And you're welcome to visit us at Asha Monday to Friday, 9.30 to 3.30, and even on Saturdays at times. Now we'll start our program with the Tirupalavanam children. Nine of them have come all the way from Tirupalavanam, leaving the village, their homes at 5.30 in the morning to be here on time. We have Slochana and Mrs. Elizabeth here this morning to guide the children.
Now the Chennai Egmore campus children. Yellow Bragasi won only one the day. Carter Roda Magi, my one male Udita, yes, I are the one name. Carter Men, Chandiyam Ambatanji Utende.
பெருசாக பார்த்து தோத்துறோம் நான் இந்த ஸ்கூலுக்கு வந்து என்னுடைய பேரனை ஸ்கூலில் சேர்த்துருக்கேன் அவன் இந்த ஸ்கூலில் சேர்க்கையில் அவனுக்கு எதுவுமே தெரியாது ஆனால் இப்போ வந்து நல்லா எல்லாமே கற்றுக்கிட்டான் தறி போடுறான் மேட்டு போடுறான் டம்ளர் செய்கிறான் வரையில் ரொம்ப மோசமாக இருந்தான் படிக்க எழுத எதுவுமே தெரியாது ஆனால் இங்கே வந்து டீச்சர்ஸ் ரொம்ப நல்லா கற்றுக் கொடுக்குறாங்க ரொம்ப கஷ்டப்படுறாங்க இந்த பசங்களை வச்சு ஆனால் வந்து இப்போ எவ்வளோ நல்லா இருக்கான் ஆனால் அவனுடைய பாட்டி ஆனால் வீட்டில் எனக்கு நிறையா வேலைகள்லாம் செய்வான் ஒரு நாளைக்கு பஞ்சு கூடம் தண்ணி எடுப்பான் வீட்டை நல்லா சுத்தப்படுத்துவான் காசு பணம்லாம் கொடுத்தா கரெக்டாக வைக்கிற இடத்துல வைப்பான் அந்த அளவுக்கு டெவலப் பண்ணி கொடுத்துருக்காங்க ஆனால் நிறையா பசங்க வரும்போதே ரொம்ப மோசமாக வராங்க ஆனால் டீச்சர்ஸ் ரொம்ப கஷ்டப்படுத்தி நல்ல பசங்களை ஆக்கி விடுறாங்க நார்மல் ஸ்கூலுக்கு நிறையா பேர் போகிறாங்க வேலைக்கு சேர்த்து விட்ருக்காங்க அதனால் இந்த ஸ்கூலில் சேர்த்த டீச்சர்ஸுக்கு கற்றுக் கொடுத்தவங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப ரொம்ப நன்றி இந்த இப்போ ஸ்கூலில் சேர்த்த ஆசாம் இடத்துக்கு ரொம்ப நன்றி உங்க பேரன் யாரு இல்ல யாரு பிராட் இம் ஹியர் and over a period of time today he is able to do paper cups he is able to help in the house you give him money he can keep it in a safe place he is a responsible boy all because god has given this opportunity so what we are doing is having great rewards and returns the next program we keep reporting to you that we place boys In, and girls in the mainstream we train them vocationally and place them in suitable jobs you may wonder who will employ these children what are they capable of will they ever be able to do anything i think you should hear first hand from one of the employees the very first employer who opened his doors and heart to these children four of them joined the hotel pandian group but along the way two dropped out because they could not cope and manikantan and suresh continue working for hotel pandian we have the administrative officer mr venkoba rao who is their immediate employer who will share with us how it is to be an employer of a special child I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ who taught us to who has commanded us rather I can say love your neighbor as yourself and also said help the needy serve me by serving the needy in fact I became a part of this kirk long back in my life I joined here this kirk in 2007 as by in Bible study fellowship in 2007 and thereby i became administrative officer in the hotel pandian which i am represent this morning i greet i bring the greetings from my managing director mr mohanraj pand mohanraj pandian who was also who is also member of your church the special children or we can say opportunity deprived individuals odi opportunity deprived individuals i repeat again odi opportunity deprived individuals can be made to be independent can be made to have a dignified life i have seen in my life i joined this uh, in, in the industry hospitality industry at the age of 70 in the past 12 years i am observing the people who are deprived the opportunity to live a dignified life dignified life can be uplifted and given dignified life that's what the scripture says in if, if you read from samuel second samuel where david has taken a crippled person his enemies is the life seeker saul's grandson and lifted him up and brought him to his table to eat with him that's how the every christian must have the desire to give a dignified life to the underprivileged or the opportunity deprived people in the society 
I take this opportunity further to say there are three classes, these, these children can be classified in three ways. One, mildly intellectually dis disability. Second, moderately disability, moderate, moderate, moderate intellectual disability. Third, profound and severe disability. The first two categories can be made to live a dignified life. They can be trained in a systematic way. It needs to be training, a patientful training. When you train them, they become independent. And we have an opportunity today, we are going to see two boys who are with us, who have been trained. They can be trained in a way, repetitive jobs, like housekeeping, dishwashing, or even cleaning, or even arranging a table in the, in the hospital, in the hotel, arranging a table, serving table, arranging the, um, for a banquet party, the tables and everything, and even cleaning the rooms, housekeeping, maintain, maintaining the dormitories, or maintaining the um, uh, guest houses. They can be trained in such a way. And I'm told they do better than the normal people in percentage of work. If one can day do it 50 room, clean a room in 15 rooms in a day, one individual normal person, anyone other than the deprived children, these underprivileged children, these underprivileged children who have been trained in such a way can do it more than 20 rooms, 25% more than the normal person because they don't divert their mind to any other thing other than the thought, what they've been taught, how they to lead their life. Such is the thing way. And the second group of the people are there, the more moderate. They can be grouped together, appoint, uh, brought together as a workers. They can be used as pa paper, paper bag. Now the present days is we don't use plastic. We have to use only paper bags. They can be made. There is a center in, um, in uh, Adayar where they actually been taught how to make paper bags for, dispose, for using in the, as a God to take our provisions at all. And they can be made to assemble things. And uh, masala, if you have seen in the paper, that they make use of the people to, pro, uh, to pack their things. They are used. They have been trained in such a way. They may, they may be partly independent. They cannot be fully independent because they should be supervised, the second group of the people. The third group of people, most unfortunate, we have to depend, we have to provide them the facilities even by contributing more in funds. So I, I, I urge you, as enter, if there are any entrepreneurs seated here in this congregation today, in the midst of us, take it, this in you as a challenge. You try to employ, take them as your people and train them. If you train them in the right way with love and kindness as the Lord has taught us, Jesus Christ taught us, they can be, have an independent life. They can lead an independent life. I ask the two boys who are here, Manigandan and, Kamna and Suresh, I ask them to come to the stage, you can see them. If they walk in the street, you will not say that they are mentally, mentally handicapped or mentally differential people. They walk in the street, nobody even can listen. They have their own man, they can look after themselves. This is the boy, he looks after himself. This is another boy, he looks after himself. I like to tell one more thing. They are not paid less. They are not um, uh, asked to work less hours. They do nine hour, eight plus one hour, nine hour duty every day. They have one week off as other people, other good employees have off. They have the salary as equal to that of the other salary, other individuals. They are not depressed, they are not given lesser pay. When, they, when we appointed these two boys, they start with 4,000 rupees. And today, for the glory of God, for the, by the grace of God, they are earning 15,000 rupees independently. And beside that, they have the privilege of having EPF account, Provident Fund. Each one of them may have in their, their account at least 1 lakh rupees in the government funds, Provident Fund. And ESI benefit is given. And it is responsible for every entrepreneur, entrepreneur to look after these people and provide. There is an organization this in, the, in the India which has accommodated more than 25% of the people in their employment in the hospital industry. You can go into it and see many institutions. And we took four boys. Unfortunately, two could not remain with us because the mother affected more. The mother's affection sometimes affects the children's life. I, if I'm uh, given the opportunity to tell them, you you must give them liberty to leave. The two boys have to leave the 
our our industry because the mother have petted that's another mistake they have done and these two boys and we are looking for to take some more boys some more children even in the hospitalities and greet them may god bless and give this thought to you in your mind that you may as a entrepreneur if you are desiring to employ seek the people such people and give them life dignified life thank you கிருவ போதும் ஏசப்பா எனக்கு உங்க அன்பு போதும் ஏசப்பா எனக்கு time but i do felt that i need to introduce to asha you to asha if you are a newcomer and if you don't know what is happening here asha is a project which was started 37 years ago and there are as nalini said 50 children here 
and nine children in Tirupalevanam. Now, these children, when they came, they were not like this. And today, they are able to be on par with the normal children. And so, this is an opportunity given to them to show their talents. And the parents who witness their uh, children performing like this are elated. As uh, you saw, that Sikandar's mother, I mean, grandmother, could not control her emotions because she knew how he came in and she knows how what he has improved. So there is there is a lot of structured program given here and also the medical care is taken care of with a team of committed teachers and and Nalini who's leading them. So I would say praise be to God for all his help and all is leading in these last 37 years because Asha project never lacked money. The monies will come. Most of you have been sponsoring this and monies have been coming also from outside, sometimes unknown sources from down in south. We don't know who it is, but we do get contributions from there. It's uh, so we thank you. This is a time when we can say thank you for all your contributions. I just want to mention, you see a lot of inserts there and this year, apart from the cover, you see a pledge card. Now, as already mentioned, either each child costs about 5,000 rupees a month. So, we need to be assured of a certain portion of the expenses by people pledging. This pledge can be a one-time giving or it can be a periodical giving or monthly giving. So, there we have at the entrance Mr. Sujit Aip, who is also a board member and uh, he works for Access Bank. So, he will tell you in what all ways you can contribute. So, he will help you out. So, those who have been moved by the spirit can go there and commit on what you want or you want to take some more time and commit, it's up to you. And uh, I want to leave you with this one verse. In First Second Cor Corinthians 9 says, each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly, nor under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Thank you.
Every time we clap, we got one more program. Oh, okay. I thought. I could see what many of you couldn't see. Every time you clapped, the children had a special smile in their face because they realized that you are encouraging them. Can we put our hands together one more time to really show our appreciation? You know how much time it takes to prepare these children for all that they did today. You might see the program went long, not at all. It's a very special morning where these children have taken long hours. The teachers have had several extra hours to put this all together. Glory be to God. God bless you all for this wonderful work that you're doing. We're going to go to listen to the anthem from the choir. The anthem is the majesty and glory of your name.
we're going to stand and worship God together before we get to God's word. It's going to be a Tamil song, so we're going to try and see. For those who can read Tamil, the words are given in Tamil lyrics. If not, you can follow the English script. The words are given in the separate sheet. I'm showing it to you right now. You can take the sheet and follow along and sing. Shall we all stand and worship God? Please be seated. Washing body ten to call up at a weather part. Yes, I are there. This in Pustaham, Mopatenda Maria Aram, one day lend the Patavare. Yes, I are there. This is Mopatenda Maria Aram. One under Mum, Varanda Nilam Mahilde, Suduveli Kalite, Puspati Pol Sherikum. அது மிகுதியாய் செழித்து பூரித்து ஆனந்த கழிப்புடன் பாடு லிபனோனின் மகிமையும் கர்மையில் சாரோன் என்பவைகளின் அலங்காரமும் அதற்கு அளிக்கப்படும் அவர்கள் கத்தருடைய மகிமையையும் நமது தேவனுடைய மகத்துவத்தையும் காண்பார்கள் தளர்ந்த கைகளை திடப்படுத்தி தள்ளாடுகிற முழங்கால்களை பலப்படுத்துங்கள் மனம் பதறுகளை பார்த்து நீங்கள் பயப்படாதீங்கள் திறன் கொள்ளுங்கள் இதோ உங்கள் தெய்வ நீதியை சரி கட்டவும் 
உங்கள் தேவன் பதிலளுக்கும் வருவார் அவர் வந்து உங்களை ரட்சிப்பார் என்று சொல்லுங்கள் அப்பொழுது குருடரின் கண்கள் திறக்கப்பட்டு செவிடரின் செவிகள் திறவண்டு போம் அப்பொழுது முடவன் மானை போல் குதிப்பான் ஓமே நாவும் கிம்பியிருக்கும் வனாந்திரத்திலே தண்ணீர்களும் கடுவெளியிலே ஆறுகளும் பாய்ந்தோடு வெட்டாந்தரை தண்ணீர்த்தாடாகாமும் வறண்ட நிலம் நீரூற்றுகளுமாயிருக்கும் வலு சற்பங்கள் தாபரித்து கிடந்த இடங்களிலே புல்லும் கொருக்கையும் நாணலும் உண்டாகும் அங்கே பெரும்பாதியான வழியும் இருக்கும் அது பரிசுத்த வழி எனப்படும் தீட்டுள்ளவன் அதிலே நடந்து வருவதில்லை அந்த வழியில் நடக்கிறவர்கள் பேதியாயிருந்தாலும் திசை கட்டு போவதில்லை அங்கே சிங்கம் இருப்பதில்லை துஷ்டம் மிருகம் அங்கே போவதும் இல்லை அங்கே காணப்படவும் மாட்டாது மீட்கப்பட்டவர்களே அதில் நடப்பார்கள் கத்தரால் மீட்கப்பட்டவர்கள் திரும்பி ஆனந்த கழிப்புடன் பாடி சியோனுக்கு வருவார்கள் நித்திய மகிழ்ச்சி அவர்கள் தலையின் மேல் இருக்கும் சந்தோஷமும் மகிழ்ச்சியும் அடைவார்கள் சஞ்சலமும் தவிப்பும் ஓடிப்போம் வாசிக்கும்படி தெரிந்து கொள்ளப்பட்ட வேத பாடம் வாசித்து முடிந்தது The scripture portion for today is taken from Isaiah chapter 35 verses 1 to 10. Isaiah chapter 35 verses 1 to 10. The desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom like the crocus. It will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. The glory of Lebanon will be glad. will be given to it the splendor of camel and sharon they will see the glory of the lord the splendor of our god strengthen the feeble hands steady the knees that give way say to those with fearful hearts be strong do not fear your god will come he will come with vengeance with divine retribution he will come to save you then will the eyes of the blind be open and the ears of the deaf unstopped then will the lame leap like a deer and the tongue of the dumb shout for joy water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert the burning sand will become a pool the thirsty ground bubbling springs in the hans where the jackals one slay grass and reeds and papyrus will grow and a highway will be there it will be called the way of holiness the unclean will not journey on it it will be for those who walk in that way wicked fools will not go about on it no lion will be there nor will any ferocious beast get upon it they will not be found there but only the redeemed will walk there and the ransomed of the lord will return they will enter zion with singing everlasting joy will crown their heads gladness and joy will overtake them and sorrow and sighing will flee away here ends the lesson praise be to god let us pray Heavenly Father, this morning we come to you, Lord, for your word which doesn't mince words. Your word does, doesn't pamper our emotions, but nourishes our souls. Your word that is more interested in our eternal life than our temporal comfort. Holy Spirit, be our teacher. even as we listen to your voice into our hearts in jesus name we pray amen well while i ask you to turn to the verse of the month can i ask the ask joel uh, to put up the anthem that the choir sang and try to get the third stanza about children singing while they do that can the church open your bible and turn to the verse of the month like we do that every sunday what is the verse of the month psalm 100 verse 3 i keep encouraging you bring a bible bring your own bible and see it for yourself more so today when 
Yeah, that's the one. Thank you. So keep that on the screen. Let's do Psalm 100 verse 3. Let's read it together. And then I will come to the words in the anthem. Can we do that together? Psalm 100 verse 3. One time, loud and clear. Is God... Okay, it started loudly and kind of faded along the way, but that's okay. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who made us and not ourselves. We are His sheep and the, we are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Would you look at the words on the screen? Beautiful song chosen for the anthem this morning. And uh, I've got the best seat in the house listening to them. Look at the words of the third line. O Lord our God, Little children, praise you, praise you. Can you all say that last word? Little children, praise you perfectly. Little children, praise you perfectly. Amazing voice, good singing, lot of practice goes on. Now I want to talk about the children sitting in front of me, in front of you in fact also. There worship this morning I don't even want to call it presentation it is their expression of worship how is it in the sight of God it is it is perfect little children praise you perfectly perfect Perfect. How do they worship God? They do not worship with their lips, with their minds wandering. They worship God genuinely. They worship God genuinely. Now I want to start with a little bit of, uh, you know, to set up the stage for what we have to share this morning. I'm going to keep it brief. So I want you to give your attention. Now let me ask this question as I start. What are the things, now follow me please so that you'll be able to follow the sequence. What are the things we think that we have that these children do not have? What are the things that we have, we claim to have, that these children do not have? Sane mind, clarity of thinking when you come up with words like that no not at all see God has given them also the capacity it is just that it is at different levels now I want you to come to 1 Samuel chapter 25 would you turn your Bible to 1 Samuel chapter 25 and I want to bring to our attention a very blessed man I'm using my words intentionally here 1 Samuel 1 Samuel 25 I'm trying to do bilingual let's see how much I can balance 1 Samuel chapter 25 and let me bring to our attention verse 2 the man's name is mentioned in verse 3 I'm going to read verses 2 and 3 1 Samuel 25 verses 2 and 3 now there was a man in Maon whose business was in Carmel and the man was very rich. He had 3,000 sheep and 1,000 and goats. He was sharing his sheep in Carmel. Before we read 3, are you able to guess who it is? You already saw verse 3. What is the man's name? The name of the man was Nabal. What was his name? Nabal. Now come to the same chapter, 1 Samuel chapter 25, verse 25. Verse 25. And this is how Nabal is introduced. You saw the introduction in verse 2? Rich man, businessman, prosperous man, wealthy man, capable man, all those adjectives. But look at verse 25. 1 Samuel 25 verse 25. Now the wife Abigail is pleading with David. And these are the words she says. Please 
let not my lord regard this scoundrel nabal for as his name is so is he nabal is his name and folly is with him yikes ouch ayo we look at these people and say they are unfortunate we use words like they are less fortunate children now let me ask you this question it's a trick question so please be careful before you answer it to yourself in the event of the rich man and lazarus who was less fortunate the bible talks about rich man and lazarus the rich man goes to hell lazarus goes to heaven who was less fortunate if you give me either of the answers there are other questions to be addressed if you say he's a rich man then i'll ask you about the destiny if you tell me lazarus then i'll ask then what about his life here on earth see many a times you and i look at life and say paavam ayyo avangalukku inda kashtam they are going through this difficulty may i say this and i mean it very very carefully i'm saying this this is my definition from the bible a fool is one who is not led by god a fool is one who is not led by god it is not defined by anything that he has he can and he shows it is not his ability skill or status in society i am giving you the biblical definition a fool is one who is not led by god now let me make this comparison between nabal and the servant girl in in naaman's household who was the fool remember the servant girl who told naaman go and meet the prophet and your problem your sickness will be healed who was the fool according to the bible nabal was a fool why because he had the skill he had the wealth he had the resources what he did not have is the presence of god in his life what he did not have is the presence of god in his life you and i are not here because we are smarter our credential is not because we can do what some of these children cannot do the defining thing is are we led by god if a person is led not led by god he is more pitiable than all these people i might sound like a harsh language but that's the biblical truth if a person is not led by god he is to be more pitied than these children and these families sitting here andavaral vali nadatha padavittal nammudaiya vaalkai shunyamaga maari vidum andavar ennai nadathinal en belavinathilum en belan poranamai velangum i'm going to give you four lessons and i'm going to very take a very short time to give it to you this morning four lessons of how in my limitations god can lead me in my limitations god can lead me in belavinathilum andavar ennai nadatha mudiyum andavaral maatra mudiyum did you see the topic this morning anyone can be led by god four lessons these are the ones number one the limitations in my life are part of god's design i'm giving you four words beginning with the letter d my limitations are part of god's design number 2 my limitations are not for disappointments are my limitations are not for disappointments number 3 my limitations do not fully define me my limitations do not fully define me number 4 and i want you to wait for it because i'm going to tell you that with a little bit of practical explanation okay let's come to the first one my limitations are part of god's design look at the situation 
Nabal was given everything. Nabal had everything going in his favor. But the Bible called him a fool. The Bible called him a fool. But many a times we look at people who seem to be going on well. They are climbing the ladder. Things are going in their favor. But I am struggling. I am struggling. If I only had a little bit more, if only I had this experience, if only I knew this person of reputation, I think I'll go. No, no, no. God has intentionally designed you the way you are so that when he leads you, you will see the hand of God. God has intentionally designed you so that when he leads you, you will see the hand of God. ஆண்டவர்ல <laughs> என்ன பண்ண தெரியல நல்லா வாழ தெரியல ஆண்டவர் நமக்கு எது தெரியுமா சில குறைகளை வச்சிருக்கிறாங்க குறைகளின் மத்தியில நாம் அவரை பார்த்து நடப்போம் நிறைவா இருந்ததுன்னு அவரை பார்க்கவே மாட்டோம் எல்லாம் சந்தோஷமா இருந்த என்ன பண்ண மாட்டோம் ஜபிக்கவே மாட்டோம் ஆண்டவரை தேடவே மாட்டோம் குறைகளை எதிர்ப்பு கொடுக்கிறாருனா குறைகளின் மத்தியில ஆண்டவரை சார்ந்து வாழ்வோம் வை ஹஸ் காட் அலாவ் லிமிடேஷன்ஸ் ஸோ தட் இன் ஆர் லிமிடேஷன்ஸ் ஆர் ஐஸ் வுட் பி செட் அப் ஆன் காட் தட்ஸ் பார்ட் ஆஃப் காட்ஸ் டிசைன் யூ கேன் ரீட் செகண்ட் கொரிந்தியன்ஸ் சாப்டர் டுவெல்வ் வேர்ஸ் நைன் செகண்ட் கொரிந்தியன்ஸ் சாப்டர் டுவெல்வ் வேர்ஸ் நைன் பால் பிரேஸ் த்ரீ டைம்ஸ் Three times he is praying and this is the answer God gives. 2 Corinthians 12.9 2 Corinthians 12.9 The verse goes like this And God said to me My grace is sufficient for you For my strength is made perfect in weakness And Paul continues on to say Therefore most gladly I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of christ may rest in me the power of christ may rest in me yen belavinathile um belavinathile yen belan poornamai velangum edunala na and the belavinathin mathile aandurudiya vallamai enakku varum it's a beautiful reminder when infant when limitations are there in life it is part of god's design number 2 limitations are not necessarily for disappointments limitations are not for disappointments enakku kuraigal edhuk irukku na na sorndu povadharkaga alla ennudaiya sorvin mathiyile ennai belapaduthukira kristuvai paarke why does god allow limitations so that when i am disappointed i will say lord i give up lord i give up i cannot do anything god says that's the starting point when you say you cannot do that's the starting point moses is coming to the edge of the red sea what can he do nothing what can god do everything sengadal aruge mose nindru kondirukkum bolude mose nal enna panna mudiyo onna panna mudiyadu andor nal enna panna mudiyo ella panna mudiyum whenever we feel disappointed and discouraged we come to god and say lord i have all these degrees behind my name i have all the ba- money in my bank i have all the knowledge in my mind but this problem i cannot solve god says thank you very much come here i am going to help you because god has not made us superpowers god has made us his children god has made us his children would you turn to isaiah chapter 35 the passage that was read to us vasikapatta veda paadathai eduthu paarpom yesaya 35th adhigaram look at what it says isaiah chapter 35 verse 3 isaiah 35 verse 3 strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees say to those who are fearful hearted be strong do not fear say to those who are weak some of you have come this morning saying i don't think i can take this anymore 
Now my question is, what are you going to do with your disappointment? Are you going to go and sit in a corner and say, my life is over? Or are you going to take your disappointment and say, God, here I am. With all my mess, I come to you. Lead me. As I said before, a fool is one who is not led by God. You can take your situation and God can lead you from where you are to where you need to be. Limitations are part of God's design. Number two, limitations are not for disappointments. Number three, limitations do not fully define me. Limitations do not fully define me. Look at what the Bible says in verse 8. Isaiah chapter 35 verse 8. Isaiah 35 madigaram yetta vasanam. A highway shall be there and a road and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for others. Whoever walks the road, although a fool, shall not go astray. Can I tell you this very important statement? Even a foolish person, when he walks in holiness, will be transformed to be a wise person. Let me repeat that once again. Even a foolish man, you look at somebody worthless, useless, just take them to the presence of God. Pray with them every day. Teach them to walk in holiness. Holiness will make them wise. What books in the world cannot do? What counselors in the world cannot do? What your lecture cannot do, God can transform. My limitations do not fully define me. Yenodia Bellavinangal, Yenodia Tanma Yalle, Yenodia Bellavinangal, Minjina Dage, Andover Seya Kudum. I want to introduce to you a boy, I think he is here, or he was here, he is here, who came to our school, Asha school, many, many years back. I got to meet him when I came to church. In Asha Sports Day, the boy came as a very invalid boy, but today he is working elsewhere. I think it is in the post office. This name is very familiar worldwide. The name is Saddam Hussein. Where is Saddam Hussein? Nilba. You know of another Saddam Hussein. Let me share this Saddam Hussein. This post office, right? God bless you. Put our hands together. God bless you. Okay. So I came for Asha Sports Day and somebody was saying, Saddam Hussein, come here. And for me, it was a little shock. What do you mean, Saddam Hussein, come here? But so happens, that's a boy's name. He came as someone with many difficulties. Thank God that his limitations did not define him. When he was four years, six years, people who saw him thought, useless waste but thanks be to god when you and i are faithful in every day he can take our limitations and make us useful here is a living example here is a living example limitations are part of the design limitations are not for disappointments thirdly limitations don't fully define me Fourthly and finally, would you turn with me to Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 10. And where is the young boy? Ragu. Raguvaran. Ingeva. Mele, mele, eriva. Pudiva. Vava, onna gadu. Adiki maate. Pinadi, can you guide him please? I did this in the first service. I didn't plan on it, but it was so meaningful that I did. Can you all open your Bible to Isaiah 35, 10? Come here. Isaiah 35, 10. Can we read that? I'm going to look at, read it for you. Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 10. The ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness. Sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Who's your name? Raju Vardhan. What's your name? Raju Vardhan. Purinjada, did you understand? Radhu Varan. 
Now this boy is very active in Asha. Sometimes in the mornings, he comes, uh, brings tea from Asha for our office stuff. One day I was in the office and he was not very happy that morning. I think somebody upset him at home. He came and said, where is Vincent? Vincent Enge. He slammed the jug on the table. And I was like, okay, I better calm him down. So I just called him, patted him, and he went back. Very active, beautiful. Now, keep Raghuvaran in your mind. Now, let me change the words of Isaiah 35.10 and follow me. Okay, now look, this is what it is. Raghuvaran shall return. Raghuvaran will come to Zion with singing. Raghuvaran will have everlasting joy on his head. Raghuvaran will obtain joy and gladness. Sorrow and seeing, sorrow and sighing will flee from Raghuvaran. The fourth lesson, limitations are not my destinations. The fourth D, limitation is not my destination. What was the destiny of Nabal? A foolish man who was not led by God. Raghuvaran, with all limitations that you and I can see, our logic defines him differently. But because God has given the opportunity for him to come here, he's a child of God. He's worshipping God. Now he is one among many children. Popa, thank you. Can you help him? Thank you. He is one among all these 60 children that God has given to Asha ministry. Now the important question is, not only to support and help the school, but to say, I will not look at my limitation or anybody's limitation with a cynical attitude. I will not look at my limitation or anybody's limitation with a cynical attitude. This is not just about the children. If you give time for another two hours, I'll be talking about the teachers, the parents, the families. There is so much of struggle. But the Asha family has been blessed by God to take all the seeming limitations and soar to limitless high. Pray for them. Give when you leave. Above all else, let our lives look at God saying, lead me. A fool is one who is not led by God. Let's look to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, this morning we come to you just as we are, knowing, Lord, that you alone can take our limitations and help us soar with wings like eagles. Thank you for living testimonies in our midst. Thank you, Lord, that your word is true for every one of us. Continue to shape our lives the way you want us to be. We love you, we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we continue to ponder on God's word. Let's give to the Lord.